Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com. You can go to my website and click on the Library Marketing Show tab to ask for a topic for a future episode. You can also nominate your library or another library for kudos. We're going to give kudos away later in this episode. Be sure that you share this particular video with your coworkers, because I think this is one that people are really going to love. It was a topic suggestion from Lisa, who works at the Romeo District Library in Michigan. She asked if we could share some tips about writing great program descriptions, keeping them lively, driving attendance, making sure that we have a call to action, all these tips. So we're gonna talk about that real quick today. Tip number one with your program descriptions is to be clear, not cute. And I know we like to get creative, but think about what your description is trying to do. You're trying to get people to come to your library for the event. And people may be looking for programs like the one you're putting together using search engines. So you want to put keywords into your description so that it's discoverable by potential attendees. You might even want to decide ahead of time what are the keywords that I think people will use to search for a program of this nature. Write them down at the top of your paper and then write your description, making sure you work those keywords into your program description. Of course, you'll do the who, what, where, when, why, of course, but also you don't want it to be any longer than 100 words. Keep it short, concise, say what is happening and where and when but you, I don't think you need more than a hundred words. We're so used to writing in less, and we don't want to go on and on because we want our description to be dis, uh, readable by our audience. So shorter descriptions are more attractive to your audience. In addition, I want you to think about writing from the perspective of your potential attendee. And by that, I mean, what benefit will they get out of coming to your program? Make that a part of your description. You're basically making a pitch, of course, for your program. So if you were in an elevator with somebody who is going to maybe be an attendee of your program, how would you pitch it to them? What is the benefit? Make sure you put that into your description. And finally, use present tense and active voice as part of writing your description. Present tense and active voice are more engaging. They're encouraging. They lend a sense of urgency to your program, which drives attendance. Calls to action for your program descriptions can be something like, they can be one word, register, um, show up, attend, um, come in. I know uh, Lisa said she's, she's not a big fan of come in, but I actually think that that is engaging and inviting and welcoming. You can decide for yourself. There are lots of active verbs out there that you can use for your calls to action for your description. I'm excited to see what you write and how those change. If you have any questions, of course, contact me at superlibrarymarketing.com by clicking on, again, the Library Marketing Show tab. And I promised you kudos, kudos today. Oops, sorry. Kudos today is going to the Lester Parish Public Library. I um, received a message from them and I don't know that they were nominating themselves for kudos, but I think they deserve it. So they told me that their library has decided to work together with some other surrounding libraries to do marketing. They're all kind of small. They don't have a whole lot of budget, but they have realized that they can work together to advertise in a five month library um, advocacy campaign and get more reach working together than they can separately. And I would love to just like applaud that idea because I think it's amazing working together with other libraries. We're not in competition with each other, really. We we can work together and do big things as a group. So I just thought Webster Parish and the libraries that they're working with really need um, just a round of applause and kudos. So good job, everybody. And I think you're setting an example for the rest of us to follow. I appreciate that you shared that with me. Again, if you have any questions, go to superlibrarymarketing.com, subscribe, comment, and share my videos. I appreciate that you come here and watch every week and put up with me when I make errors. And I'll see you next time.